Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021. So last time out it was all about the orchards wasn't it? We now have many many orchards into which we have planted many many trees which in time will grow many many lovely fruits but that time is not now. It's going to take an awfully long time for these orchards to bear any fruit at all. If we look, I don't know, just here, this orchard here, it's going to take another 205 days until these trees are going to give us delicious rosy red apples. They're not even going to be ready this year. I think it's going to be 2026 before we see anything at all from these orchards. And that's fine. That's fine. We sort of knew that to be the case before we planted all these. So this is very much a sort of a long-term project over here. But we're not done with fruit quite yet because over here we have a little bit of space where we could grow some other fruits. Things that grow on bushes like raspberries and strawberries and the like. And we could use all those to make lots of lovely jams over here in our fruit processing factories. Because we built these and they're doing entirely nothing at all. They're just sitting there there. Nobody works here. We've not said what we'd like to make in them. They're just sort of sitting there being idle. So if we were to grow stuff over here, we could at least put a few of these back into operation and you know get stuff being made over here, which would be wonderful. I would quite like that. So let's see what we can do over here, shall we? This can kind of be the fruit corner. This can be our fruit corner of the farm. If we say get ourselves fruit going all the way along to here, I mean that's where the edge of the that's where the edge of the orchards are. So I think what we'll do is we'll have ourselves a road coming up here like this all the way to the end and then it can link up around the outside and then all this bit here, this entire massive corner of the farm can be dedicated entirely to fruit. I think that sounds like a good plan. So let's get the roads in. Is it not worth actually? Is it not worth having one of the big roads going around the entire outside of the farm just in case they need that to make, you know, traveling around the farm a little bit easier? I think that's what we might do. That's what we might do. Also, we do need to decommission all of this stuff over here. Hang on. Right, hang on. Let's go here. Let's get a two-way road and we'll get that going all the way along to there. I imagine it can go very much into the corners. Yeah, there we go. Right, so that's gone. Hang on. Hang on. That's gone out of our that's gone out of our building area. Look, we're allowed to build a road slightly outside of of our land. Okay. I'm sure that will not cause any problems with planning permission or anything else. I mean, yeah, if we just do this, if we just get this, let's just get this in. Ah, right, no, we can't build over the water. That's not going to work. Well, let's get that to there, say. So put that in. That was relatively expensive, but, yo, know, money is no object anymore. And then get the paved road, so a regular road, and bring that in across here. So that marks the edge of the edge of the fruity bit of the farm over there. Okay, wonderful. Right, now we need to do something about this. Right, are there any machines? I think there might be a few bits and bobs lying around. Right, hang on a minute. Clear this. Oh, there's loads of stuff to get rid of. Um, ah, right, there's, yeah, there's some tractors and things lying around, which is pretty good. There are also many piles of trash and nonsense around. Um, can we just get rid of these? We don't want these. We don't want anything over here. Away with you fences and roads and things. Let's just demolish all this stuff. Can we demolish the trash? No. So we can demolish a building, but we can't demolish a pile of trash. We have to pay for that to go away. But this building just magically disappears into nothingness. Okie doke game, right you are. Um, okay, is that trash? Yep, that's a pile of rubbish. Okay, so get rid of this over here. And then, yeah, this over here can be just a load of lovely fruit fields. This is going to take quite a long time to get rid of this, isn't it? I was kind of anticipating it to be a little bit quicker, but... Uh, but no, it's going to take absolutely ages. Right, hang on. Let's just go and get rid of all the stuff. There we go. That's much better. So now we only have the farm equipment there. And then we have ourselves these three wind turbines. Now, normally I would like to keep these, but I don't think we can move things. I think once something is down in Farm Manager, that is it. So I don't really see the point of renovating these because then we can't move them. They're just going to sit here in these slightly weird positions. So I do apologize, wind turbines, but away with you as well. There we go. Right, wind turbines gone. And now I think what we can do is we can we can renovate some of these. So yeah, let's repair that. Okay, that is that's like a chest trailer. That could be useful over in um over in the new sort of fruit area. Um have we got room over there in parking 14? Yes, we have. I mean it's going to be no use now, but when it comes to harvest time, you know, at the end of 2026 planning ahead, um yeah, that's going to come in handy. We're going to need that sort of thing. So, okay, hang on. Is it repaired? Yes, it is. Oh, I thought it said it wasn't repaired just a second ago. Okay, never mind. It clearly is repaired because it doesn't look broken anymore. Right, and then we've got ourselves the five meter reaper for cereals. I think, I think we have bigger ones now, don't we? I think we do have bigger ones 
Where are we? Over here. And a few people did say you bought the smaller ones over here. Yeah, we have ourselves Reaper for Serials 9 meters and Reaper for Serials 5 meters. We might as well get rid of those little ones. We might as well just get rid of these because they're not doing anything. So can we sell... Why can't we sell those? Game, why can't we sell these? I want to get rid of these. Why are we not allowed to sell that and that? Are they in use? Maybe they've been earmarked for use or something. We can't seem to get rid of any of these. Oh no, we can get rid of those. I assume what's happening is somebody is driving around the place on a tractor going to pick these up. So they're kind of earmarked for use. Ah, it's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll not bother with those then. It's okay. They can use the five meters. They can use the nine meters. Whatever gets them through. Right, okay. So over here. So we don't really want that. The only thing is we can't just demolish things. We have to kind of repair it and then get rid of it, I think. So we'll repair it. We'll put that down into... I mean, do we want to put it anywhere around here? Let's just put it into there. And then we shall sell it immediately. There we go. That was a good investment. Yay. Right. And then I think these over here are going to be relatively useful. That's a Riga tractor. Okay. So that's one of the red ones, isn't it? Um, how about we keep one of those over here? Let's put that over here just in case somebody needs a tractor. Just in case we need a spare tractor. So there we go. Again, it says repair. It looks pretty... Re it doesn't look like that anymore. Hang on. Do we need to just re-click on it? Do we need to click back on it? Yeah, that's a little bit weird. That's a little bit of a... A little bit of an anomaly there. Never mind. Right, and then we've got another trailer thing. Yes, we'll have another one of those over here, please. Um, parking... Which one was it? 14? Yeah, there. So pop that in like that. Wonderful. And then we have the combine harvester thing just here. Oh, hang on. There's another thing there. Another Reaper for Sierras. Okay, fine. Put that wherever. Sell that immediately. Bye-bye. Uh, right. So we have ourselves another Combine Harvester. It's a Xeno Warrior Combine, which is wonderful. However, we don't really want those anymore, do we? We could do really with going and upgrading all of our current Combines and Tractors to the blue and, yeah, the blue and the best ones. So where can we put that? Is there room in there? I don't think there is. We're going to have to put that somewhere and then you know, sell it immediately. Um, okay, repair it for an awful lot of money because otherwise it's just going to sit there forever and be in the way. So, okay, repair it, please. Parking 12. Ah, okay, it fits in there quite nicely. And then, do you know what? There we go, we're going to sell it. Yay, right, so that space up there is nice and clear. Everything has made way for lovely fruit. So now the question is, what exactly do we want to do with this? So we are going to need to get another little sort of hub like this set up over here, I think. So the only thing is, right, if we go to, where are we? Go to garages. So if we say get ourselves some parking spot things, how can we make sure that this entire area is being serviced by just one lot of things over here? I think if we put things about there, that looks okay. We can't zoom out anymore, unfortunately. So I can't quite see... Can't quite see. Yeah, it's not going to catch things in the corner, is it? It's not going to catch things in the corner. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Right. I think what we'll do is we shall have one gigantic field just there. There we go. So build us a field just there or outline one or whatever we do. Let's have a field just there. And then we'll have another big field there. And then we'll have another big field just there. And then what do we want to do with this bit here? We do have a little bit of empty space right here. Do we just put in a tiny field? Let's do that. There we go. Right. So we'll have that in. And then over here, we will do exactly the same thing. So let's just go. Yep. Field just there, please. And a big field there. And a huge field just there, right as big as it can go. And then a tiny little field going along the edge. Marvellous. OK, so now we've got the edges in. And that looks sort of the middle. That kind of looks like the middle. So now if we go to here and go to those, can we put these in a place where they're going to reach all of those fields? Yes. Sort of around there looks perfect. I mean, can we tilt them round a bit? So if we moved it over, so it's going toward, hang on. So it's going toward the edge of that road. Sort of there is perfect. Yes, that will cover everything over there. Okay, I mean, do we just want to... Let's get this road going through the middle. Let's get this big road carrying on all the way through the middle. Connect up to there. There we go. And then we can have things off of this road. I think maybe... What we might want to do, just to make uh, driving around a little bit easier around here so I can get the equipment around the place. We'll have a road just there and a road going along like that as well. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have some more fields. Is this is this a bit too much? 
Are we going a bit overboard here? I don't think so. We're making lovely fruit. Fruit's you know, one of your five a day. So yeah, make sure you eat lots of fruit, everybody. Uh, hang on, no, not like that. Let's have it looking the same. Let's have it looking the same. What well, do we want it to look the same? Or should we have the little bit there and then have the little field down here on the next sort of row along? Let's have that, shall we? Let's mix it up a bit. You know, variety is the spice of life and all that kind of stuff. Right, okay, so there we go. Let's have that like that. And then another tiny field down here. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> We're going to grow so much fruit along here. Oh dear me. Right. Okay. It's all fine. It's all fine. Right. Get that just there. And pop that in just there. And pop that in just there. And then the tiny field at the end. Oh, no, hang on. Get it right. There we go. Right. That gives us a bit of a clearer picture as to what we need to do around here now. So I think, yeah, we need all of our things on this main road. Can we have ourselves again another road going along like that? Again, just to make travelling around a tiny bit easier. And then another road going all the way up like that. Marvellous. Okay, so now we need to get in all of the stuff again. We need garages and we need worker houses and we need all the fun things. So let's get ourselves. So hang on a minute. Hang on. If we put that there, that reaches all of the fields on the left hand side of the screen. And then, if we put it there, it does reach all of the fields on the right-hand side. Okay, so that's fine, but it does need to be... Yeah, I think it can't go... It can't stray too far away from the middle. So let's have ourselves um, a bit of parking there. And then we know that this is sort of okay. Ah, power. Power, power, power. Let's do this now, shall we? Let's get the power stuff all sorted. So we'll have ourselves... Hang on. Where's the nearest power connection? It's down here. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can work with that. So have a transformer robot in disguise just there. Bring that all the way down there. And then bring that to, say, there. And hang on, what? Hang on. No, 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 no. How? We... Okay, game. Right. Hang on. I told you to build a thing just there, game. And now you decided to select a fit game. Are you feeling all right, game? <laughs> what is going on here? Hang on. Electric pole to just there, please. There we go. That's better. And then all the way down here. Oh, farm manager's having a little bit of a laggy moment. Come on, farm manager. You can do this. All the way down to there. And wonderful. Right. We have power up here. I mean, our power grid is a little bit iffy, I would say. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's all fine. They don't have power. Hang on. Do they not have power? Or do they have power? Hang on a minute. Oh, no, they do. Oh, there are many power things over there. No, that's absolutely fine. Okay, good stuff. Right, so then, yeah, we need to keep, I think, I think what we'll do is as well, we're probably going to build some more stuff around here, I would have thought. So let's put in one of the transformer things there and connect that up, just to give us a little bit more power coverage. Okay, so that's good. So we've got one of those in. So now I think we get another one of these in. So drop that in just there. It's complaining about power, but everything is fine. And then we will get ourselves a garage as well, because why not? They're fun. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. If we put that garage there, I think it just covers those fields in the corner. I think that is as far sort of this way as we can go. It's under construction. Hang on. Move time on. Move time on. Get that thing finished. So that, those parking things cover everything, just. <laughs> it's, it's very much on the edge there. They also cover everything, just, they're just covering some bits and bobs. And then over here, we need to see what that's doing. Ah, it's finished, and yet it just, apparently, apparently it, it overlaps onto that field. You know, you, there's a tiny bit of grass there which belongs to that field, so that is all fine. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay, so that covers those. So we have ourselves some places to park vehicles and such. And then we need warehouses and all the other fun things. So hang on a second. We're going to have ourselves... It's going to be fruit along here. So we are going to need a lot of these. Oh, they have a teeny tiny range. Okay, what we could do is then... How about then? We have ourselves a warehouse there. And a warehouse at the top like that. And then a warehouse at the bottom down here and a warehouse at the bottom there. So that should cover everything. And then just to make it look nice, we'll put some across here as well. We'll have a warehouse there and a warehouse there because why wouldn't we want to do that? 
Okay, so then we've got some storage set up. This is all looking fine. Right, what else do we need? Right, manure storage. We're going to need some of that so they can go and put the manure on the fields and what have you. Again, that looks like it has a relatively limited range. So we'll put one there and one there and come down to the bottom and we'll have one just there and one just here. Okay, that's all good. So let's move time on again, just to make sure that we know what's going on with this. What are the um, what are the warnings about? Fruit processing plants and um, the manure storage has no electricity. Really? I wouldn't have thought manure storage would require a sort of power. I suppose there is a pump there, actually. There is a pump there. Okay, fine. Right, we'll get it sorted. Let's pop that just there and we'll connect that to there. That one does have, that one doesn't have power, apparently. Really? There's power lines going right next to it. Okay, let's just put um, let's put one of those there. Connect that up to there. Okay, good. And then we're going to have to do some fiddling about over here because we want that to go there. Then to go over to the edge. And then to connect down to there. And then across here, another transformer robot in disguise. And that goes over to there. Okay, right. Are those warnings going to go away? Right, we're down to just the seven warnings again. Hooray, there we go. <laughs> and all of the warehouses have appeared. So this is good. So now, yeah, that's covering those. That's covering those ones at the bottom. That's covering those at the top. That's covering those at the top. And these are just, you know, there for the sake of it, just because they're near the middle bit. Okay, right. So we have storage. Let's look over here. What else can we have? We are going to need another mechanic and possibly another one of the logistics buildings as well would not go amiss. So let's get these in. My goodness me, there's a lot going on around here. Right, that I think should cover everything. I think that covers quite a wide, that covers an awful lot of distance. Yeah, let's put that there and then we can get the mechanic in as well. Let's put you next door, why not? There you go, you can go next door. So those two can go in. So I think it's now just down to the worker houses. And that's kind of it. That is kind of it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then obviously buying the equipment in and so on and so forth. And then, yeah, then we need to get the rest of the field set up because we've got these big gaps in the middle. That's not going to do at all. That is not going to do. We're going to need more parking things, aren't we? We're going to need a lot more of those because that, that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough at all. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's get ourselves another covered garage thingamajig. So let's put that there. Again, I think that just about covered everything. And then, um, yeah, that there. Yeah, if we put one there, it doesn't cover those fields in the corner. But if we put one there, I don't imagine it's covering the fields in the opposite corners. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. It's covering those ones. Okay, that's fine. And over that side is fine. Okay, yeah. So we'll have that. And then we'll put one... Just there. Okay, right. We have much in the way of parking available now. Uh, right, worker houses, they can go wherever along here, really. That's going to be fine. So let's go to here. House for permanent employees, because we're going to need people to drive the tractors and so on and so forth. Now, the only thing is, we are going to have to wait a little while because we need to get our research done. Because in 27, 26 days now, time is passing, um, we can increase the number of workers we can have to 500. Because right now we have 291 workers. So, um, yeah, we can only get nine more people in to work on all of this stuff over here. Which is, possibly in hindsight, a, a tad... Uh, is this too much? Is this too much? It, it's probably too much. Do you know what? It's fine. It's a challenge. We'll take it as a challenge. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is, let's just get... If we can just get roads running across like that, that's fine. I and mean, then we can put things along here if we need things along there. We can put barns or whatever. So there you go. So we'll pop those into there. And then what do you want from fields over here? Because are we going to have enough things over here? We need to get... Hang on. We can move all the things from here, can't we? So we can move that now. So repark that. I prefer this method of reparking it like this rather than it just flicking about all the, different, uh, all the different parking spaces. So let's have that just there. In fact, hang on. Can we repark you more in the middle just to make sure you're more accessible to everybody? Right, there we go. And then repark you because you are no longer required over in the orchard bit. There we go. 
and then the plows again you don't need them anymore you've done your plowing over there your plowing days are over so let's um let's have that just there and then go and grab the other plow yeah this is this is good this is all working sort of as we might have hoped okay so that's good and then yeah manure spreader you're not going to need that either because i don't think you go and put manure down on the orchards again so we'll put that just there we could do with another one of those is there another one of those yes there is okie doke we will take that thank you very much right it's looking good and now we just need the tractors and then various other bits and bobs okay right so we need tractor so into here let us buy lots of the proper etos tractors the big blue tractors so yes please see this can i just click on the map and put it down this is all over the place and very baffling right hang on a second garage 12 that'll do the job right so we'll get three of these i think get three of those put them into garage 12 in fact we might need a lot more of those we might need so many of those because this bit over here is huge um oh hang on I don't think that's the garage we clicked on, but whatever the case, it's fine. Right, buy another blue tractor, please. More blue tractors. Blue tractors for everybody. Right, hang on. Garage. This goes in no particular order. It's very baffling. It goes in size order. It does go in an order. Um, Which garage was it, though? It's not 13. I thought it was... I'm confused. Hang on. Wasn't it garage 40? Is it garage 12? Oh, it's garage 12. Right, okay. There you go, everyone. Right, so we've got three tractors that is good and now i think we will get some workers in so let's get people that are good at working with plants because that's what we want nobody nobody at all we're running a farm and we've got nobody that can that can work with plants <laughs> that seems a bit like a a little bit of an oversight there on our sort of recruitment procedures um okay fine we can't get anybody in there never mind I think to help us work out what things we actually want to plant and grow over in the new great big possibly too ambitious area over there, I think we need to take a look at our factories down here just to see what they can actually make. So let's pick what we actually want from these. So I think, yeah, I like the idea of that. Let's get some lovely apple juice in, so some lovely organic apple juice. So yes, you can do that, please. Now, I know there's nobody working here and it's all fine right now. We'll get it sorted. And then this one here, uh, yeah, organic cherry juice. Why not? We shall have that. And then this one here, what's the next thing along? So that is, is that strawberry jam? I do like strawberry jam. And I know it doesn't make the most amount of money, but I just like offering a great variety of things. So yes, okay, we will have some strawberry jam. And then I think, was there apricot jam? Um, there is raspberry jam. I do like raspberry jam. Yeah, okay, we'll have some raspberry jam. And then down here, we've got ourselves, yeah, that's blackcurrant jam. And then we've got ourselves, what's that? So that is, hang on, go there, gooseberry jam. And then we've got, and that's the dried plums and the dried apricots. Okay, I mean, why don't we just say, we could have lots of these factories. We could have many of these. So let's have, I mean, if we're going to want to have great big fields of things, let's have ourselves a field of, I don't know, blackcurrants. We'll make some blackcurrant jam. There we go. So we've got three jams being made and then a couple of nice fruit drinks as well. So splendid. So now we know what they're going to be doing. I think we probably could do with having another row of these. We could do with having another row of those. In fact, you know what? Let's get them in right now. Let's just demolish this road. Away with you, road. Bye-bye. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Bye-bye, road. Go away, road. <laughs> away with you. There we go. And then let's get ourselves some more of these in. Now, we have to be a little bit wary because we don't want to get to a point where we can have no more staff and we still have things to build. I don't want to get to that point. Hang on. Hang on. That road needs to sort of come back up this way a bit. Um, right, so get these in. So that can fit just there. And then they can all just fit nicely next to each other. It's going to be marvellous. Again, we're paying maintenance on these. It's absolutely fine. I think we can afford it. Right, and then bring that road down there like that splendid splendid stuff and then over here could we fit in a warehouse so they don't have to go really far to get the stuff they can just go over here yes yes we can in fact let's put one there and one there because why not and i think they should have power maybe these warehouses won't have power however um 
I think they might, but do you know what? We'll connect that up anyway. There we go. Wonderful. So they will start spring out of the ground. We'll get the rooftop dance and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Right. Now, what do we need to do over here? So we've said we want strawberries and raspberries and black currants. So how are we going to do this? Do we just want all of those as strawberries, all of those as raspberries, all of those as black currants, and then something else? What was the other one? Gooseberries. It was gooseberries, wasn't it? Um, hang on. So a quick look at that. So the apples and the cherries are from orchards. So yeah, we've got strawberries, raspberries, black currants, gooseberries. And the plums and the um, the thingamabobs there, the apricots are from the orchards. Yeah, okay. That seems fine. That's what we'll have to do then. So we just have rows of the fruits. I do want to mix them up a bit. I think having them in rows will make it look quite nice. It will make it look quite nice. Okay. So over here, here we go. We're going to do this. Um, let's get ourselves... Uh, we'll have strawberries over there. Why not? So strawberries. I, I kind of have a, a sinking feeling about this. I think this might be slightly too ambitious. <laughs> It'll be fine. Everything will work out all fine. Right, hang on. So that can be all strawberries, all lovely organic strawberries. And over here, we will have, I don't know, the organic raspberries. Yep, that'll do. And can't click on that field. So yeah, this can be raspberries as well. That one can also be nice organic raspberries. And that one over there in the corner can be organic raspberries. Okay. So that's that sorted. And then over here, let's have gooseberries. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is this is going to be wonderful. If this works, if this actually you know, turns out to be okay and manageable, it's going to be wonderful. I just have a bit of a feeling that it's going to get to harvest time and it's going to be a little bit hectic around here. It'll be fine. Right, and this one over here is going to be blackberries or blackcurrants or whatever it was. Blackcurrants, there we go. Right, so this is... This is fine. We have the money to order all of the seeds and things in. So put that in and final field. Put that in like that. Okay, right. So that is all of those fields done there. So everything from those fields that we can see right now, that is going to go over here into the factories where they're going to make lots of nice things. We do have some gaps over here and here and here and here. However, what do we want to do with those? What do we want to do with these little sort of spaces here? because we could grow other fruits and then just sell them. I think that might be a nice idea. Let's have a field. Hang on. Hang on a second. Let's have a road going along like that and a road going down like that. And then we'll have another road going across in a similar way over there. That kind of gives us a bit in the middle where we can have sort of, you know, useful buildings. And then those bits can just be fields. So, okay, so we'll have a field there and a field there. And a field just there, and another field just there. <laughs> this is... Uh, we're going to need more machines, aren't we? We're going to need so many people to make this bit work. Okay, I mean, now we can have some other fruit. So let's have a look. What what should we have? I really genuinely don't know. What should we have? Um, I mean, yeah, we're growing the gooseberries. Grass, we definitely don't want grass. We don't want grass at all. Um, I think maybe we've actually covered the fruit. I think, have we covered all the fruit? We could. We could just grow watermelons. We could just grow a massive load of watermelons. They sound like fun things to grow. Just grow some watermelons across the top. Yeah, okay, we'll have watermelons there. And we will have bio watermelons down here. They sound fun. And then just here, I suppose we could just have some tomatoes, can we? We could just have classic tomatoes. There you are, tomatoes. Right, okay, so pick you. So tomatoes there and that other field. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. And tomatoes there. Okay, wonderful. So that is an awful lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff that's going in. Um, and again, across the other side of the farm, we might need to sort of replicate this type of arrangement with other stuff because we're not growing potatoes or onions or peas or spinach. And I kind of, I like offering variety. I like having loads of different things on the go. So I think, you know, when we get to it, we'll go maybe, I mean, this bit here, this bit here we could fill in. This bit here is certainly ripe for addition. I suppose actually, hang on, hang on. We could, yeah, we could build some things along here and get them in. They could be sort of grains and things and then we can get the mills in over here okay right there you go it's sort of a plan sort of a vague plan that i will no doubt forget before the next part but right okay now what have we got 13 and a half million now we need to go through and irrigate 
all of these fields, because that removes a job from everyone, which means they're running around ever so slightly less manically. And there we go, all of the fields over here are now irrigated, which is wonderful, that saves us a job. I think, just looking at the scale of this project over here, I think we might need some seasonal workers. We might need a few of those to come in and help out just a little bit. So what we'll do is, we won't get the houses built, because as soon as we build a seasonal worker house, people might start moving in, and that might use up our final sort of nine available staff members. So what we'll do is we'll just get the kind of, we'll get everything set up and ready for them, and then in 19 days, we can get that actually constructed. Now what I think we'll do is, we'll build... We'll try and build onto the back. Let's build onto the back of these buildings here. So hang on, how big is a seasonal worker house? They are, if we rotate it round, just two. Just a, a size of two sort of wide as we're looking at it now. That's fine. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get a paved road and we'll put a paved road there like so and then we can have other things backing onto this as well. We can have more warehouses or parking things or whatever and then again onto here I mean, if we wanted another set of parking things, one, two, three, four, hang on, one, two, three, four. If we draw a bit down there like that, that might be okay, I think. Hang on, have we got any room for, for these things here? Yes, we have. We could have another parking bay thing just there if we wanted. Okay, wonderful. Right, so now we're gonna move time on. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen here because we said we want all these things in these fields. Now, yeah, we're going to get a gajillion, a gajillion errors appearing here now going, no, it's not going to work. What is going on over here? So, um, yeah, this is, this is not going to be good. Oh, hang on. No warehouse. Organic corn. Organic sunflowers. Oh, hang on a second. We can't have used up all of the, um, all of the storage over here already, have we? Oh my goodness me. Yes, we have. Oh, right. We have got quite a lot of some things. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe we could get rid of some of the, uh, some of the organic coals are there. We seem to have, hang on, why have we got like 15,000 units, kilograms, whatever, of organic coals? Are? Right, hang on, hang on. Let's go and sell some stuff. I don't think we need quite this many things. Sunflowers, yeah, they're good. We want those, we go through those a lot. Um, yeah, the organic soya. And so what do, we, what do we need to get rid of? Wheat, we can get rid of some wheat and we can certainly get rid of some grass, I think. If that's even in here. I don't think grass is in there. The grass goes in the barns, doesn't it? Uh, that's not a barn game. There we go. Yeah, the grass goes in a barn. And the barns, the barns are also looking a bit full. Okay, right. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's go and sell. Right, hang on. Grass. So we've got, what have we got? 316,000 kilograms of grass. I think we could do with getting rid of 100,000 kilograms of it. For 58 grand. A paltry 58 grand. But okay. So we'll sell a bit of that. So that should free up a little bit of storage over there. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then over here, in our silos, let's get rid of... Um, right, try and remember this. So corn, oats, wheat. Corn, oats, and wheat. So let's go to here. So we'll go to corn. We'll select that. And then we'll go to oats. And we'll select that. And then we'll go to wuh for wheat. Okay, right. So we have ourselves... What's that? 92,000 kilograms of corn... Okay, how about we sell ourselves 50, no, 40,000 kilograms of that. Okay, so yes, please. That'll get us 93,200 fund manager monies. And then we have ourselves 147,000 kilograms of organic oats. Okay, how about we get rid of, I don't know, 90,000 kilograms of that for a cool 295,000 fund manager monies. And then wheat, 132. Um, yeah, get rid of another 90,000 there for 315, almost 316 grand. Yeah, okay, we're gonna make 704,300 farm manager monies. <laughs> the money is just pouring in, there we go. And now if we look here, that's freed up a little bit of space in there, so hopefully some of those errors will just clear off. Some of those errors will go away. I assume they've gone away. Yes, yeah, now it's just saying no machines, no, you know, not enough staff, all that kind of stuff. But that's fine. Yeah, there's not enough staff to work on the fields yet. That's okay. Right, hang on a second. Can we at least get somebody up here that is good at working with plants? I don't really care if they're good at working with machines. Come on. There we go. Plants and endurance. Absolutely wonderful. Yes, yes, and yes. You three can come in. You can be very good at endurance stuff. Uh, Holly Rowe, hello. Welcome aboard. And Katie? I assume that's pronounced Katie. Katie Foster, you can be good at plants. Do you know what? Be good at animals as well. I'll treat you there. Extra skill. You're now multi-skilled. Well done, you. Okay, so now I imagine at 
some point, yeah, there we go. A field is being worked on over here. Oh, and there's a field being worked on over here. Okay, this is good. This is good. I don't quite know who's working on these fields. Who is in this? You are Alexander Bates. Uh, okay. Whereabouts are you housed? Um, you must be over here. I assume you're over there. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. You're over there just doing a bit of work on those. Oh, that's quite good, though. That'll help out quite a bit. If people from over here can just lend a hand with these fields on the edge, that's going to be useful. I mean, these little fields, they can get done relatively quickly, I would imagine. But okay, yeah, I know we still need some more people. We probably also do need some more tractors. I think some more tractors would not go amiss. Um, yeah, let's put that into... Crikey, is it garage 13? Yeah, garage 13. So another tractor. Let's buy... Let's just have six of these, shall we? Um, and down into... Oh, crikey's Garage 13. Yeah, there we go. And the final one. Yes, please. Lovely blue Etos tractor into garage 13 there we go okay so rotate that round splendid so six tractors over here dealing with all sorts of things uh yeah this is this is certainly a big big project over here it's going to take a while again it's already coming up to it's coming up to what september almost i'm not entirely sure we'll see too much from this i don't think we'll see that much this year but next year we'll be okay i think we'll be absolutely fine right okay Let's set these factories to actually do something. I mean, they're not going to actually operate because we have no staff, but we'll just choose what we'd like them to do. So why don't we get a bit of everything? So I think we've got the two drinks, then we've got the four different jams. Is that what we've got? Hang on, hang on. We've got apple juice, cherry juice, strawberry jam, raspberry jam, and blackcurrant jam. Okay, right, so here we will have the final jam so let's get the um the gooseberry jam organic gooseberry jam and then here we'll have the dried things so dried plums there and then dried apricots just there and then we have two more things left let's make some more jam let's make some lovely jam i do like jam uh, we'll have ourselves a raspberry jam and then a strawberry jam you know the classics classic jam action there there we go wonderful I mean, again, they're not going to do anything for absolutely, absolutely ages, but at least we've told them what they want to do. You know, somebody, I assume we must have like a, an administrator or something on the farm. They can go around and just prime these buildings for making strawberry jam and such like. You know, we can buy all the jars and then eventually when we have somebody here who can you know, press the buttons, they'll be ready. There we go. So at least we've done that. How are the fields looking? It's looking, it's looking busy. It's looking busy over here. I mean, we should be okay. We should be okay. Do you know what we could do to save a bit of a trip? Hang on. Uh, where is it? Warehouse. We could put a manure storage over here. Again, it's opposite the... The training's finished. The training is finished. We can have many people. Uh, we'll put that there. So it's opposite the um, opposite the worker houses. Because that's what we like to do. And can we get another one in there? No. That's just a, a one square thing. That's unfortunate. I know what we need along here. Hang on. Do we need some over here as well? I don't think we have any decorative items whatsoever. Oh dear, this is unacceptable. Right, hang on a second. Uh, right, flowers boxes. These are always good. Right, flowers box, flowers box. Just in those gaps, we'll put a flowers box there because it can fit. And one there. And then we'll bring this round like that. And we'll put one just there. And then we'll tuck one down the side there because that's nice. Right, so plenty of flowers boxes dotted around. And then we need some... Maybe over here. Nice flowers box there. And one just there. And then, yes, we want some kind of this way as well. We'll tuck one there. And one in there. And one going across that way. Very nice indeed. And then let's just get some little kind of pots of flowers around the place. Because they look nice as well. In fact, near the greenhouses, that's going to need some stuff. Um, I think you can put stuff through the... Like, yeah, look, we can put stuff kind of sticking out of the greenhouses. There you go, look. I'm sure that's fine. That's not going to interfere at all. There we go. And one just there. Okay, and then we'll just dot a few of these around because they're quite nice. We'll have some across there. We'll have one on that corner. Um, let's have a couple of things across here like that. And that'll do, I think. Oh, hang on. One on that corner as well. Why not? Okay, so that's that bit done. 
And now we need to go over here and work on the new bit. So yeah, let's get some more lovely decoratives. How about purples over here? Some lovely purples. We'll have a purple on that corner. We'll have some purples there like that. We do want to keep some space for the big flower boxes because they are nice. Um, yeah, one of them can go there. Another one can go in there. We'll have a thing like that. Uh, and then let's switch colours. Let's have some yellows because they look nice as well. A couple of yellows. There we go. And what about over here? Yeah, there's a big gap there. Uh, we'll put a couple of bits there. And then we shall get ourselves the big flowers boxes. One in there. One just there. Um, can we fit another one over there? Maybe we just put one on that corner because it looks nice. And then we'll put one in that gap there. And then one can go just there. And then we'll just tuck another one down that gap there. There we go. Right. So hopefully the people that work over here are now very, very happy and delighted. There are lots of lovely flowers around the place. And with our training done, yeah, we can now have up to 500 people, which is very good indeed. So I think now we need to get some more training underway. So what shall we go for? Uh, in fact, how far away is winter? I imagine it's a little while. 103 days. So we could get one of these in. One of the 90 days things. However increasing our storage capacity by an extra 10% would not be a bad thing, given the problems we have seen recently with storage stuff. So that would actually be quite useful. That would be handy. However, we could get some of this stuff in down here. More... Ah, look at that. Workshop for beekeepers. More honey would not be a bad thing. That would not be a bad thing at all. Yeah, okay, how about we get that? Let's do that. Workshop for beekeepers. So we'll get ourselves a little bit more honey. That's very welcome. And then what we'll do is over winter again, we'll do this one, but we actually will do this one over winter this time. And we'll maximize our production abilities of the factories, which will make a massive difference in generating lots of cash. That would just make such a huge difference. Right, I think as well, what we will do along here, um, let's get some seasonal workers. Can the seasonal workers like drive the farm equipment? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's get some proper people in as well. Hang on a second. Um... Hang on, there are four, pe four people that are good at working with plants. One, two, three, and four. Welcome aboard. Uh, right, be good at plants, please. Be better at plants. That's good. Um, you, be better at plants. You're very good at orchards as well, which could be helpful. And you, go and be better at plants. And a bit better at machines. Why not? If you've got to drive a machine, you might as well do it properly. Okay, right, so they're in. So they will hopefully run out and start driving tractors around, doing all the kind of fun stuff. And then... Let's just get in a house for seasonal employees. Let's just put that, let's put it right there. That'll do the job for now on this bit. We'll just get that in, get maybe 12 people in it if we can. I can't quite remember our settings for this. Hang on a minute. It was 135, wasn't it? And then we upped it to 990? Does that sound about right? I think that sounds about right. 990, 135. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So now... Some seasonal workers will appear over here. There we go. Lola Watson is hired until the 6th of December and she can help out around the field doing fieldy stuff. So this is not a thing I would normally say, but I wonder what our manure situation is looking like because do we have a lot of it? We must be using an awful lot of manure to cover all of these fields. In fact, we're ordering manure in. That is not what we want to see. We don't want to see that. Hang on a second, hang on. Let's just have a little adjustment here of the manure settings. Um, right, hang on. Let's just search for it, shall we? Man. Right, sell above... Uh, what are we selling above? 10,000. Okay, sell above 50,000. So keep lots of manure, please. Keep an awful lot of manure because we need to go and fertilise all of these fields with lovely manure that comes from mostly over here, I would say, in, you know, cow town. A little bit from over here, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, we want to keep all that. We want to keep all of them. Well, maybe not all of it, most of it. We want to keep an awful lot of the stuff. So yeah, let's just let's see if that makes a difference. Because we don't want to be ordering in manure when we're producing quite a lot of it ourselves. So that seems a little bit of a silly thing. Oh, look at that. That field is ready. Organic, lovely pears coming through. This is splendid. Oh, look at that. Thousands and thousands of kilograms of pears coming in. And now it is autumn. It is the 21st of September. Autumn has arrived. So yes, we need to actually get sort of things wrapped up and ready for winter, even though we're setting these fields up over here. I'm sure that's fine. Are we going to be able to grow anything in these fields at all? Can we actually grow anything? I don't think we've got the right sort of planting gear, have we? What do we need to actually plant these things? Hang on a second. Hang on. Go down to here. We need planters and we don't need trailers with water. Right, hang on a second. 
let's get some planters in, shall we? Because they might be quite useful for, you know, planting things. So, uh, yeah, plur for planter. Um, just a regular planter? Yeah, I think that will do the job. That's for, yeah, raspberries and strawberries and tomatoes and things and gooseberries and blackberries. Yeah, okay, we're going to need a few of these. They are very cheap, which is splendid news. Um, not parking 15, though, I don't think. Not 16. Parking 19. Yeah, okay. We'll have some in, um, in parking 19, please. Hang on. So planters, get them in. Parking 19. Thank you very much. I don't know why we can't just choose from the map. I do find that a little bit weird. It's a very odd thing that it makes you choose one of these. Um, hang on a minute. Where is it? Oh, have I gone past it? Hang on a minute. Yes, I've gone past it. Parking. There's parking 19. Right, in you go. Right, three of those should be okay. Hopefully that will be enough for now. But there we go. You can now go and plant things in the fields as well, everybody. Oh, and the planters are already in use because look at this. We have ourselves some lovely organic tomatoes going into the ground. How is this working? Yeah, I like this. I do like the idea of this. Right, hang on a minute. Go into photo mode again. So we have ourselves, the tractor drives around the field and I kind of get that, that's fine. So it just moves around a bit. And then we have ourselves people sat on the back of the planters. So there's people here. And again, they just have great big stacks of, stacks of the, whatever it is, tomato seedlings next to them. And then there must be a certain point where they load it into some sort of device and then use the device and it forces the plant into the ground. And they just all do that at the same time. So everything is a nice sort of, a nice linear kind of pattern. I like that. I do like that. I think that looks very good. That's very impressive. Okay, well done, everybody. Hang on, come out of photo mode. There we go, look. Lots of lovely, lovely, fresh things going into the ground. I mean, are these going to be ready? When this is done, we'll be able to see how long it's going to take for these things to actually be done. 63 days. How long until winter? 82 days. We might just get that sorted. Oh, look over here. Strawberries are going in. Lots of lovely, lovely strawberries. Oh, this is wonderful stuff. Ah, right, sprayers. Yes, we need sprayers to actually go around and spray the fields with lovely treatmenty things. So, okay, right, let's go over to here. We'll buy some sprayers here, I think. So, sprayers, regular ones. They can be pulled by the blue tractors. Absolutely wonderful. Right, we want to go into that parking bay, whichever one that was. No, not that one. Was it? I don't think it's that one either. Parking 90, was it parking 30? This is very confusing. Parking 17 it is. Right, they're tiny. The sprayers are very small. So how about we just buy multiple of these and they are going into, oh no, which one was it again? Was it 17? Yeah, so parking 17. So I have one there, one there. I have another one of these. It's a shame you can't multi-buy these things. It's a shame this thing is a bit weird. Right, that one just there. At least if we fill this up, it'll disappear off of the off the list of parking spaces. Yeah, it would make the list a bit smaller so it won't fly around quite as much. Right, and then it's going to have one space left. Oh, there's quite a few with just one space. And of course, it's the very last one. Okay, so now we have four sprayers as well, so people should be able to go out and spray these things. Oh, they're going in as well. Gooseberries are going in. This is wonderful. So yeah, we've got ourselves tomatoes over there. We've got ourselves strawberries over here. And then we've got gooseberries going in over here. Again, I don't think we're going to get too much out of these this year. I mean, how long are they going to take? 43 days. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But uh, but yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, we're not going to get everything from these fields. We're not going to get all the stuff. However, what we might want to do is just before we finish things up, we might want to go and have a look at our auto selling options for the strawberries and such like. So strawberries, we're selling above anything. So you know, if we have strawberries, we sell them. But if you want to make lovely strawberry jam, we might need to keep some of these. The only thing is, how much jam can be made with how many strawberries? I do not know. Uh, let's look here for a second. Where is it? Uh, they take 100 strawberries. I don't know how efficient they're going to be in there, though. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, do you know what we'll do? Hang on. So strawberries. Um, sell above... I don't know. I don't know. 50,000? I imagine we'll have quite a lot. Maybe that's too many. 25,000. Sell above 25,000 strawberries. So if it goes above that, sell them, please. That would be wonderful. And then the same for the raspberries. So sell above 25,000. Again, that might be way too high. That may be way too high indeed. Hang on. Hang on a minute. I didn't think this could happen. We've got that in twice. We've got in bio raspberries. Organic raspberries appear to be in the list twice. I didn't think that could happen. 
Let's delete that. Okay, right. <laughs> um, let's add a new thing, shall we? That went a bit strange. Um, yeah, raspberries, please. Sell above 25,000. Can, can we cope with that? There we go. Wonderful. Okay, that'll sort that out. And we do have some other stuff to sort out as well. Like if we get people in here, we obviously don't want to sell all of our apples and all that kind of stuff because we want to make nice drinks out of them. But there we go. Okay, I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now. But I think this is looking wonderful. This is looking very good. I mean, this is huge. This is a massive, huge, big chunk of farm that we've set up over here. And they haven't even got to the sort of the outer fields yet. They've kind of done the fields that are nearer to them. They've not even got to these fields. It's going to take an awfully long time to get these things all set up. But yeah, if we could just get anything from these fields, that would be okay. I would be quite happy with that. What are they waiting for over here? Chest trailers and chest trailers, and the watering thing. And not enough staff as well. Not enough staff. Can we get one more person in here that's good at working with plants? Plants and endurance would be perfect, but no. Okay, Stanley Thompson. In you come, Stan. Right, there you go. Become good at working with plants. That's an extra person. That's an extra person that go around and drive a tractor and do all the helpful bits and bobs. But yes, with that done, I think we will finish things up for now and we'll come back next time and just see how we get on. We will see how this develops and I imagine we will get to winter next time. So we're going to have ourselves a great big kind of winter cash boost next time. Not that we need it because we seem to have 23 million farm manager monies right now. But whatever the case, we will skip through winter and then of course they'll have to go through and do a lot of work on these fields again. But then when it gets to 2026, as we move toward the end of 2026, we shall see all of our wonderful orchards bearing fruit and don't they look magnificent these look wonderful look at these all different trees all different colors and styles and all that kind of stuff it looks very good over here i do like how our orchards look so uh, yeah we'll see those sort of coming to fruition if you pardon the terrible pun uh, next year as well but uh but yeah we'll finish up for now come back next time see how we get on hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in farm manager 2021 but for now thank you very much for joining me the geek cupboard and i will see you next time i really hope i don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because i would feel like a terrible person hello robot and i shall call you alan still some homeless people still hungry people still sick people okay if you try and reach london you will end up frosty and dead great big human lollipop